Honestly, the title of the Netflix limited documentary series, The Pharmacist, didn't really grab me or even pique my interest. And then I watched the trailer and I thought, mm, well, this might have something, but should you watch it? A pharmacist in New Orleans loses his son to a drug-related shooting. And as he fights to get answers and assistance from law enforcement, he uncovers something much larger and more dangerous. Dan Schneider is the pharmacist, and in an effort to find his son's killer, he ends up annoying law enforcement with his relentless pursuit of truth and justice, but also the bad guys that live in the neighborhood and all of the drug dealers and just any of the gang members or whoever else lives outside of the law that he comes in contact with or even comes in contact with people that know them. I mean, he just stirs up a hornet's nest of trouble. So obviously that puts his life in danger. But Dan also has this very quirky behavior to him. And I think it's part of just because he's so frustrated because he's not getting the information he wants, he starts recording everything. When I say everything, I mean everything. Phone calls, interviews with people, even his own grieving thoughts. And that's an awesome thing to have now that we're past this event because it helps the documentarians build a really good story. We get a well-rounded picture of who Dan is and everything that he's going through because we hear all of his internal thoughts spoken out loud. As a documentary plays out, Schneider uncovers a huge issue going on in his community. He discovers that a large amount of OxyContin is being prescribed and then they're coming to his pharmacy to have it filled. Knowing about the effects of these painkillers, he really begins to question the need for all of these scripts that are coming through. And that leads him to try and figure out where are they coming from? Why, is, why do all of a sudden all of these people need this prescription for this really high powerful drug where they just have something mild that two Tylenol would take care of. And that's the question he begins to ask and that's what's driving him nuts because he knows that this is not good stuff, that it's just, it's over prescribing for a minor problem. And so as Schneider does, he investigates because it drives him nuts. And he again, once he dives into his investigation, he ends up putting his life in danger once again. What I think is really cool is that Schneider is f leading the charge in fending off an epidemic well before it's even known that it's an epidemic or even gaining any type of national coverage or publicity. There are a lot of interesting points within this documentary. Some of them are behavioral, just as you look at Schneider and then even the people that he talks with as he's uncovering or trying to uncover truth. But then there's also from a microcultural standpoint. I mean, there is one gentleman in this who as a teenager, like a late teenager, had never left his ward. So in, in New Orleans, he lived in the Lower Ninth Ward, which I looked it up on Google Maps, and it's about a two and a half mile square radius. I mean, square radius, radius is for a circle. Anyway, two and a half mile square area, two and a half square mile area, that's the right thing to say. And he had never left that in all of his life. So as a late teenager, he's going on the freeway for the very first time. He's going outside of that neighborhood. And I just find that just, for me, baffling, especially in our community that we live in now, and just the world I think that we live in, that, I mean, I drive like 15 miles one way to get to work, and that's a super short commute. I know people, at least in California, because we're stupid here, I mean, some people drive 90 miles one way or even longer for their commute so that they don't have to live in a certain city and they can actually afford to, to live where they do. Schneider is not always the most likable character in this. I mean, he, he gets on your nerves, and I think some of it is just the quirks and the drivenness of, of him in his pursuit. But you also got to admire his tenacity, uncovered things, and got to the bottom of things that nobody else was willing to pursue. This documentary really focused a lot on the behaviors and the occurrences going on in New Orleans, but they were mirroring what was going on in the United States as a whole. And like I said, it just wasn't getting national attention yet at this time. I think it's an interesting limited series to watch. I mean, sure, it is pointing out some of the things that we already know now, but we have the privilege of being able to look back at history. But it's also cool just to see from an individual's perspective and where their pursuit of justice takes them. There's no sex or nudity. There is a lot of profanity and some violent imagery. I give The Pharmacist four out of five couches.
Have you seen this documentary? Do you already know about it? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for catching with me.